I have this uh, Senna or Cassia that's growing in this pot and this has been here it's grown up fairly tall in a period of a year or two and this is a host food for the sulfur butterflies and as you can see I've got some on there I haven't spent a whole lot of time looking but I haven't yet found one but I'm sure here in the next couple of weeks I will find one I've had really good luck with this. These two plants and these two pots have really attracted a lot of sulfur butterflies. And what I've learned from this butterfly business is you got to reach a critical mass. You know, you can put a couple of milkweeds out, but until you reach a critical mass in the number of milkweeds that you put out, you know, you'll get a monarch that floats through, but you're not going to find caterpillars. Until you get caterpillars, then you're not really going to start to get Kind of a larger concentration of butterflies so you have to reach a critical mass and so that's why i went out and got two more of these either senna or cassia they are not native to california and yet they are the host plant or one host plant for the sulfur butterfly and so i put in these two and then in this plant or in each corner of this platter i put in another two of the senna or cassia, whichever you prefer. Here we are at the end of October. I haven't checked, but it's probably up in the 90s. Feels like it. And these Senna's or Cassia's are really stressed. The sulfur butterflies float around them. Actually, the sulfur butterflies float everywhere. And so I came over to look and see how much I'd shocked it because I haven't given it any water. And I found that. They're really quite an interesting caterpillar, aren't they? Yeah, I like that. So anyway, here we are out here. And that is the caterpillar for the sulfur butter butterfly, which is on this cassia or senna. And this is October 26th. This is what the cassia looks like when it's in bloom. Here we are, first week in November. And it blossoms fall, winter, and spring. So that gives you some idea. Very pretty, very profuse. And as I'm walking around here, I'm checking to see on caterpillars. So there could be caterpillars on it because it's been munched on. 